Have you ever recommended vitamin C and ascorbic acid to a client or use it yourself only to find out it's causing more harm than good? Well, you're not alone. Let's talk about it. And ascorbic acid, it's the powerhouse of vitamin C and an ingredient that everyone wants to use. It's known for its brightening effects and also its antioxidant properties. However, there are some clients that might not be able to see the benefits that they're hoping for. Signs like heightened sensitivity, irritation, and even more breakouts or congestion can be signs that L-ascorbic acid might not be the right fit. Let's try and understand why does this happen in the first place. L-ascorbic acid can be too acidic or potent for acne prone and sensitive skin types, especially at high concentrations above 10%. Its low pH can lead to heightened skin inflammation and aggravate existing skin conditions rather than actually improving them. So what is the alternative? Sodium ascorbyl phosphate. This vitamin C is actually gentler on the skin, especially for sensitive skin types, and it also still delivers on its antioxidant properties. Studies show that SAP at 5% is efficient in the prevention and the treatment of acne, as well as helping them to brighten the skin with no similar side effects as the product is much more stable as well. Now here's how you can incorporate sodium ascorbyl phosphate into your client's skincare routine. All depends on the formulation, but generally if it's in a serum, after cleansing in the morning, they can apply a few drops of the serum onto the face and to the neck and gently just hat into the skin until it's fully absorbed. If you want to enhance the benefits of anti-inflammatory function, you can layer it with other ingredients such as niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and copper peptides. This combination not only further reduces inflammation, but also promotes wound healing and overall skin health. Are you a skin professional looking to boost your skincare sales, or you just want to improve the quality of your consultations you offer in your business?